Would Inspector Sands please go to the control room? Oh! <gasps> Inspector Sands has gone off! Oh! <gasps> They're on to me. They know I'm off to the Coach and Bus Show. So then, in this video is my review of the Coach and Bus Show, or Bus and Coach Show, whichever way around you want to say it, 2019. So here I am at the show. Let's take a look around. Sadly, this year, Wright Bus did not attend, because this happened just as Wright Bus went bankrupt, so Wright Bus obviously pulled out, which is very, very disappointing. So let's take a look around the show, and let's take a look at the good and the bad. And it was quite a lot of both. Let's first start off with the good. And along to obviously the best company here Alexander Dennis who are leagues better than everyone else all of the other manufacturers seem quite amateur compared to Alexander Dennis and first onto an Enviro 200 and on this Enviro 200 very nice interior it's like a really high spec interior it looks really really good so let's take a look around it Mr. Buses. Well, at least you can stand on top of these buses. And along to the Enviro 400 BYD. And this bus is really nice. So let's take a look at it. And there's actually two buses outside. The outside area was dedicated to electric buses this year. You've got Enviro 400 BYD and the Utongs. So first on to the Enviro. That really nice back window. And interestingly, it actually has cameras instead of mirrors. That is interesting. Let's take a look at this. Are these cameras wide angle or just... I'm not sure. Yeah, cam so, cameras are those cameras don't look exactly the same as a mirror view, what you get. But look all no. zoomed out. I'll drive it off to France now. <laughs> <laughs> Camera to watch a driver speed. To watch, yes, watching what pedals he's pressing. Please apply handbrake. Oh wow. Please apply handbrake. Fuck yeah, I literally could drive this thing away. And along to the rival, Utong. And Utong haven't really taken off that well. One bus was trolled in London for a bit, which was actually this particular bus. No one seems to really be buying them. I don't know why. Utong like to boast that every single little bit of a bus they build themselves, which could be good and bad in different ways. It seems like maintenance could be harder. And this bus they're actually doing test rides on. So let's go for a ride on this bus. Sadly, on this test ride, it doesn't actually go that fast. And along to a Dawson Group in Vio 400. Let's take a look around it. This bus looks really nice. We can change the display as Coolant, press to check. And along to this really weird bus, which I've never seen before, is like a new electric bus being trialled. Electric bus model E420. It's really interesting, so let's take a look around it. Tells you Welcome aboard my tram. Look at this wasted space though for electric bus. That's such a lot of wasted space. I don't really like that design. It's got a key. Buses don't normally need keys. You're displaying like symbols like that. Why don't you just... 
What's that? There is already. There is a button for everything, but you, the only way to figure out what things do nowadays is to press buttons. Have you tried the driver's side buttons? Oh, they've got a voicemail. Interior lights. Oh, wow, the doors. Doors opening. Do a slow door. Why is it doing that? Why oh, is it doing that? Look out for a big, big battery from Shanghai. So it's 34 kilowatts. Jordan, we've made a massive mistake. <gasps> we went to the bus and coach show, but it's a far Far better show we could have gone to instead. What is it? The horse of the year. Horse of the year. Which horse will be horse of the year? Horse. Well, let's go through the show and find out. Is this the horse of the year? It's got knickers on its head. <laughs> Another horse of the year. <laughs> oh, is this horse horse of the year? A very angry looking horse. And this horse is dead. They put a cover over it so you can't see its dead body. It's now going to be wheeled off to the mortuary. <laughs> Would you like to buy a baby horse which has a weird cushion thing out its mouth? <laughs> and here's your luxury horse caravan. The horse manure fountain, specially provided by Horse of the Year for this shop. The Horse of the Year show was so amazingly good, we left and went back to the coach and bus show. So we now take a look at the coaches. I'm not so interested in coaches as I am buses. It was interesting to see all of the coaches had on display and they did have a lot of coaches on display. All of the coaches had very high spec interiors. They all looked really nice on the inside. That felt a bit like manufacturers more showing off because most coaches aren't this nice on the inside. And, and to be honest, going on long coach journeys for me is more of an irritation than an enjoyment. Anyway, let's take a look at these coaches. And now along to a Nova Tours Utong coach. Let's take a look at it. It smells new inside, even though the decoration of the seats are a bit old personish, but the lights look nice. <laughs> you look, you turn that and it makes a silly. That noise, that is so amateur noise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your National Express service from Aberdeen to Victoria, calling out every intermittent city possible. Thank you. How do you? How do you get it so it pictures the cam? It's got hazards for you when it detects a fault. So if you open the door while you're driving, it puts the hazards on automatically. Oh wow, this one looks quite a bit nicer than the others. Here is our settings. Best button on it. Day and time information. Now this tells you not that much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are the best to, um, to Amsterdam. This bus is going to Amsterdam, so if you want to go to Amsterdam, please depart the bus. Thank you. Can the person, the person that's just got on the bus without a ticket, get off! Some one hundred percent safe drinking water. <laughs> well, is this like we have a cruise set? I guess downstairs. It's a weird setup. <laughs> this bus comes with some free litter. It's a very weird cab, which I don't understand why it's in this configuration. Water oh. tank feeds as oh, well, yeah. just a standard hose pipe connector. Well, what's the point of this little stick at the back? For a weird staircase. Let's go upstairs. What? Oh, yeah, wireless charging. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Oh no, it is short. I think that's short. Though. Does the other one just say noise or a different tone? No, same tone for both. Panorama logo, if that is. You can have different tune for inside for the passengers than for the driver. Yeah. And now along to the little front engine minibuses. Oh dear. I really do not like minibuses. I don't like the fact they've got a front engine. I don't like the shape at the front because they look like vans and not proper commercial vehicles, unlike the others we've seen. Oh well, this is a weird little thing. Mercedes. Front engine, sadly, so it's going to drive like a fucking van. It's got some nice tables at the back. It looks far better than it before if you actually had to ride Ow. in it. Audio bus. <laughs> that is a bad door. I don't even that notice all that. I don't want to shit door. Fear, oh dear. This is going to be bad. A car company attempts to make a bus and they do so incredibly badly. And it probably drives like a van front engine. Not what I call a real bus, by no means. Don't buy one of these. Mercedes minibus, front engine vehicle. Not really my kind of thing. It's like a sunny celebrity would own, wouldn't it? Window control. USB, the driver gets USB. The fuses are out for certain things, you can't even leave the lights on. <laughs> yeah, we're on an airplane. That's that, that's luggage with light. Reading lights for do that, all the above lights go off. Chair light. It's not like a proper automatic, it's just a well, manual. It's not. This is a manual, but it automates itself. This is what my least favourite gearbox looks like, now I know. So lessons change this manual five-speed gearbox on this minibus for a Volvo iShip seven-speed, I We've think. we cut holes into the cabin. Yeah, because this Volvo iShip is too big to replace that little manual. <laughs> And here comes down our gearbox. And there's a lot of stands showing bus pots and accessories. You get a signs nicely, that's a little bit cheap quality. The only thing I don't like is you never see lines where the panels line up. Okay. Transfer the pile. Yeah, I mean you can is this too much metal for oh, the metal detector when it goes green? Metal detector. Oh, metal. Oh. Can't go to NEC in Birmingham without taking a ride on air now. It's just not allowed.
Good night.